In this video, I'm going to show you all that I know about iterators and aggregators inside of make.com. It is not super complicated, but it's still some of the advanced functionalities inside of make. And I know a lot of people struggle with, uh, with these concepts. So I'm trying to uh, break this down in 10 minutes or less because I don't like long videos. First, let's define an iterator. So if you remember from my last video, if you haven't seen it, please go see that. It's about um, arrays and bundles. But an iterator is a node that takes an array and outputs each of the bundles inside of that array one by one. And whenever you do a search function, for example, for a Google Sheet, um, all the different nodes, you can have um, Airtable lookup, Google Sheet lookup, uh, Gmail lookup, everything that goes in and searches for items and returns multiple items will return them as bundles. So if you run this module here, this Google Sheet, it will return these three bundles. And as in the last video, everything after this node here will run three times. Sometimes that is good. We want to automate and process each of these bundles individually. But other times we actually don't want to process it this way. Um, but again, <clears throat> an iterator works in the same way as this node here. And we can see from uh, this example here, oh, let me just move this down, that, come on, this is a bundle. So this outputs a single bundle. If we run this module once, we get a single bundle with items. We cannot iterate over this because this is not an array. This is a bundle. We can't really iterate or output multiple bundles because it's just one bundle. So an iterator in this place does not make sense. What we want to iterate over is an array. So let me move this one down here, run this module only. Inside here is how we construct an array. You can see again, prior video. We now get an array and this array is called name of array. Like that's how I named it. We have five bundles in here. We can now go into our iterator and link that to name of array. What this allows us to do is we can now manipulate and process each of these bundles individually. Um, so for example, if I wanted to add specific text or format, like this is just um, uh, what it calls cells in an uh, Excel sheet or a Google sheet, we can now start to process this data and write a bunch of text and add in multiple things. When we run this scenario, ignore warnings, this will run once, once, and this will run five times. We now get an output per um, iterate or iteration. And we can now use an aggregator. So let's clone this, add an aggregator here, and we select the source module. This is a um, closer. So this aggregator will be uh, tied to an iterator. So every time you have a node that outputs multiple bundles, you can add an aggregator and close in this as a closed loop because an aggregator will take multiple bundles and only output one array. So an array aggregator will output an array. It will aggregate all the bundles into an array. Let's go in. We have now selected here and let's select text, select OK. And the sharp mind will now uh, already know that we will take operation one to five. Instead of having it as multiple bundles, they will now be put into an array. We can see here the output is one array with five bundles. So this is useful if we wanted to manipulate or process information inside an array, but we don't want to process all the next things that comes after this point. So let's just um, say that we have multiple, oh, multiple stuff coming after this array aggregator here. And we don't want to process this five times. We only want to, uh, for example, call open, uh, call an AI and get some responses. We only want that one time and so forth. We can close in this uh, process loop here. Let's unlink. Now let's go to multiple bundles. 
The reason why I have multiple bundles is you remember that an iterator is the same as a node that outputs multiple bundles. So if we run this module only, we have this multiple bundle aspect here. And um, this will run be like on the other side here, it will run one, two, three, four, five times. And we might not want to run this five times. Um, we uh, would like to capsulate or capture all this data in one single, not bundle, but in one single array. For example, we can just add an array aggregator here. We can then select the source. It has already selected that. And then we just select all the outputs. Okay. We can then say run once. And instead of being five times on the other side, now only run once with an array. Let's uh, do this as an example with the Excel, no, sorry, the Google Sheet node here. This will pull in three bundles. We then have this multi bundle part here. And then this is a string, this is from the last uh, example. We can see one time, three times. And then because we have five bundles in here, this ran 15 times. Okay. We don't want to do that. We want to um, to encapsulate this data here as an array. So it selected that one and all. Let's try running this again. We can now see that we got the three bundles output. We encapsulated this in one array with three bundles inside the array. This multiple bundle node that we have here ran five times after the fact. So instead of Let's try and encapsulate this multiple bundle with a second ag aggregator, which is the text aggregator. So instead of combining everything into an array, like the array aggregator, we can combine everything into a large text. So let's select multiple bundles. Okay, we now encapsulated this here. And then this, let me, now we can't reference this anymore. We'll take the output here. Now in the text aggregator, we expand to show advanced for each time this bundle runs, we want to this one. Yeah, let's take this, we want to do this. And then the number is the ID. The name is the name, the brand is the brand and the specs is the specs. Like so this output here will now take all these bundles and aggregate them into one large text and output this text into this string over here. Now if we run one, 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 we still have all the information available. But this one here, now output it this long text of, um, of information. And we captured that here, we don't really need to capture it. But um, this is just for examples. Um, so you can see that we captured this over here, we can actually go in Last example, I see if I can keep it under 10. Let's see we want to get um, I can do here, you can quick tip, you can hold down shift, you can select a lot of nodes, and then you can control C control V to actually um, copy and paste whoops, a lot of stuff at once. Just a quick hack. Let's delete this one. Let's unlink here. Let's go here. And then you will route this for this one. And then we'll run down here. Let's see if we can do that. Select all. Okay. Once. Apparently it didn't. Let's see. Mm, why didn't it do that here? Oh, that worked. What I actually wanted to show was we run it now. We could that over here, we now have access to the aggregated text and an array here. So we can actually go in and pull out that bundle empty select all okay. mm, name brand spec save unsaved. okay i actually don't know what ah unsaved roll save i actually don't know why there we go now we can go in and we can grab this data specifically from within the array we can go in and we can say okay i want to um, map the array and only get back the names of the array, for example, we can pop in, we can map. This goes into the uh, more advanced stuff, we can map the array, and I only want the name. And I want let's do that. Um, then I want to join this array 
because we are in a string, so we can't display objects. So we want to join here, join. Let's separate that by a new line. And then we do two curly brackets, new line, two curly brackets again. That was the separator. Okay, run once. Let's look at the output. And you can now see that we got the name separated by a new line at the end, which was pulled from our array. This is how arrays and aggregators work inside of make.com uh, or if you're old school in Tegramat. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, give it a like and um, catch you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.